Thank you for joining us for another Series NRX accessory tutorial video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install and remove a Castell key lock. A Castell key lock's purpose is to provide controlled access to the breaker's ability to engage circuits. The interlock secures the breaker in the off position, and without a key, the breaker cannot be turned on. Disclaimer. Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. To install a Castell key lock, you will need the following tools and parts. One self-adhesive external protective ring, one Castell key number FKW6-NI, one Castell cylinder number CL1019, one metal mounting bracket, two M 3x5 millimeter mounting screws, two fiber retaining washers, two cylinder mounting screws, one lever assembly mounting nut, one lever assembly mounting screw, one lever assembly, one number two Phillips head screwdriver, one flat head screwdriver, and one pair of pliers. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover of the circuit breaker and how to remove the secondary mounting bracket. For this demonstration, we will use a three-pole UL1066 draw-out circuit breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. If you have a three-pole breaker, you must remove the four non-captive screws with a number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Make sure you save the screws for reinstallation. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. The secondary mounting bracket, which is located at the top of the breaker, must be loosened in order to access the key lock mounting location. To do this, you must locate the three screws that hold the mounting bracket in place and remove them with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. You do not need to remove any wires or connectors in order to move the secondary mounting bracket. In this section, we will demonstrate how to construct the key lock assembly, punch a hole in the front cover, install the key lock, and reattach the front cover. First, remove the key from the cylinder. Then, using a flathead screwdriver, remove the two mounting screws from the back of the cylinder. With the two mounting screws that you just removed, attach the mounting bracket to the cylinder. Next, push the lever assembly onto the square-shaped shaft on the back of the cylinder until it touches the mounting bracket tab. If you are certain that the lever assembly is straight, tighten the mounting screw that is located on the assembly. In order to punch a hole in the cover, you need a rigid support that is slightly larger than the outline of the hole. In this demonstration, we are using a 1.5 inch by 3 and 3 8 inch pipe and a hammer. 
Place the rigid support flush with the hole on the underside of the cover. This will create support and will prevent the cover from splintering since the pipe is slightly larger than the hole. Hit the top side of the hole with the hammer. Make certain that all pieces and or particles are removed from the inside of the hole before proceeding. Once you've punched the hole, attach the external adhesive ring to the breaker. We've removed the front cover, shifted the secondary mounting bracket, assembled the key lock, and punched a hole in the front cover. The last phase of this process involves mounting the key lock assembly to the circuit breaker and ensuring that it is functional. Locate the mounting location. It is right below the secondary mounting bracket. There are two threaded mounting holes in the mounting tab. Using the two mounting screws and two fiber retaining washers, screw the key lock assembly halfway into the mounting location and then stop. Before firmly securing the assembly, use a flathead screwdriver to pull the plastic push button plate out so the bracket's sheet metal tab slides in behind it. Once the metal tab is behind the push button tab, you can finish tightening the mounting screws. Reattach the secondary mounting bracket by tightening the three screws you loosened earlier. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you removed earlier. Make sure you secure all of the screws that you previously removed. In this section, we will perform a functional test. To begin, press the red button down while rotating the key counterclockwise. Next, remove the key and charge the breaker. Once the breaker is charged, try to push the green push to close button. The breaker should not close. Next, insert the key and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Press the green button again. This time it should work. In this section, we will demonstrate how to properly remove the Castell key lock from the series NRX breaker. First. Remove the cover and loosen the secondary mounting bracket. We demonstrated these processes earlier in the video. Next, use the number two Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the two mounting screws. Then remove the mounting bracket and key lock from the mounting location.